have no idea why I'm wearing a sweater when it's 95 degrees outside. A gorgeous sweater. And I know a lot of you um, are in states that are starting to experience fall. So, and I just want to pretend for right now um, in, in Dallas, Texas. But look how gorgeous this sweater is. I've actually been eyeing this sweater at Shein for a couple years now. And I finally decided to buy it and I regret not buying it sooner. It is a gorgeous sweater. The material is gorgeous. It fits so nicely and I'm obsessed. I'll link it down below for you in case you are interested. But let's get on to this Dollar Tree haul. Look, I'm pulling up my sleeves because we need to get down to business. Did you see Saturday's video by any chance? Um, I'm filming this all on the same day, but I know that this is going to be Sunday's video. At least I think it is, or it's going to be Monday's. But I had so I found so much stuff at one single trip to this Dollar Tree that I had to break it up. So that's why I'm probably going to be throwing another Dollar Tree haul for Sunday. And... If you didn't see Saturday's stuff, go check it out. It was amazing. I found the most amazing finds. And I have even more stuff to share with you guys. So let's dive in. I'm going to start off with a little bit of something random. But I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. And it is a name brand Arm & Hammer. It is this foot powder. Helps control foot odor, absorb sweat and moisture. Also found some new hand soap. And it smells amazing. It's by the company Soft Soap. And it is a fresh lemon and mint. You guys, go pick this up. And if not, just go smell it. It is amazing. And I bought doubles. Next up, I found some cute new decor that all has this little block desktop kind of theme. This one has a um, flamingo theme. I love the wine one. The wine one is my favorite and very Tuscan, which you guys know I'm starting to bring back into my decor. A little succulent cactus type theme. And then you get your mermaid. Then I found some chapsticks or just like little lip balms that have the fun like desserts. This one is Oreos. These are going to be really cute gifts, especially for people that you know love something like this. Like my daughter loves double stuffed Oreos so much and she can now have it in a lip balm. Here is Sour Patch Kids in the blue raspberry. Like what? And then here is Watermelon. Love that. And Twinkies. Um, and then here is Icebreakers like a gum. They had a lot more to choose from too. I did not get them all. These were just the ones I picked up. Those all right, I found some new pencil cases. They're kind of looking a little frumpy and messed up, but I wanted you guys to see how cute they were. And like, look at this. I'm definitely gonna bring this one to my niece and like fill it up with some things that she can play with. She loves to just like move things move from one place to another, put them in a bag, take them out of a bag. And I just thought that this little pattern was adorable with all the little dogs. I wanted to show you guys that they have this one. This one's really pretty, especially if you're into planning. And then this one I wasn't that big of a fan of, but I think my daughter would like this print. Cases. All right, I picked this up just because I um, I've been wanting to put something soothing on my eyes and under my eyes, especially with my allergies. Um, and I found these little iPads with a little cucumber. I don't know why I say little to everything. These iPads with a cucumber look to it, and I wonder if it also smells like it. It says it's cooling, and you get 12 in here. In Saturday's video, I showed you guys a jackpot sticker haul, and I was showing you the new label for these stickers, which was Crafter Square, but it was looking very jot. So I'm kind of wondering what Dollar Tree's doing here, if they're transitioning different labels. Um, and I wanted to show you guys that Crafter Square has still been around, um, and I wanted to show you the two different labels, just in case you're as into Dollar Tree as I am, because when they change labels, that's an exciting thing. That means that they're upgrading, they're improving, they're putting out more stuff. And so this is the old Crafter Square, and I believe this is the new. At least that's, that's my take on it. Um, 
just from shopping there. And these are both the same product, liquid adhesive. Look at the old, look at the new, and look how much you get. Here is the old crafter square, but I wanted to show you guys that they are selling reclosable bags. I don't know if you can just kind of see um, the size of them, but they're like little zipper, Ziploc type bags. These would be great to just sort anything, especially if you're into crafting or bead making, making bracelets. Um, this is gonna be great to sort your stuff out. And here is more Crafter Square stuff. Look at this. They've sold this stuff at Dollar Tree before, but it's in a different label. And now you get two for a dollar in this pack. Sometimes they sell these one individually for a dollar. So now you get two in here. And then look at this one with the mini set that you get for. And then these squeeze squeeze applicator bottles. I mean they're empty. There's there's not product in it, but it's for you to use, you know, as a container however you need to. It's always exciting when Dollar Tree puts out washi and just that you can kind of see all of them together and see all of the prints. It's really fun. This one has a galaxy theme, which I love. I've never seen Dollar Tree do anything like that. This one's really simple, has stripes. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Here is this one, which has flamingos, but it's a little bit difficult to see them. And then this one I love, which is watermelon. I feel like I might already have this one in my collection. And this one I might also already have in my collection. It has typewriter and camera. All right, next up are some hair accessories. Another type of jackpot. Hair accessories, washi, stickers, all kinds of things. I found some snap clips that you guys have to see. These are really coming back and something that I've just kind of noticed having a teenage daughter is there's a lot of themed parties that they'll do, you know, whether it's Halloween and now that she's in college and all that stuff. Sometimes she just did, she just went to a party that the theme was early 2000s. And she was like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, girl, you need to channel Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, Britney Spears. Like those were early 2000s. And I have to tell you, it wasn't cute stuff. But what is Dollar Tree doing to me? These I'm gonna give to my sister-in-law for um, my niece. Oh, look how fun they are. Look how thick it is and beautiful. And if you don't have anyone to gift it to and you love planning, you could easily turn these into planner charms or paper clips. And then here is this one, which has a leopard theme. And I love it because it has the bow tails. So it's just gonna look really cute. And I actually got kept this one for myself. It has the elastic, it's gorgeous. It also came in another print, but I really liked this one. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you guys some new Christmas ornaments and decor from Dollar Tree. I, I have to do it. There's no way I could just put this aside and wait. I have to show it to you now. So first up are some tea light holders with the poinsettias. I am gonna say poinsettia. So that's a problem, I'm sorry, but I can't say poinsettias, like I, I can't. I'm gonna say poinsettia. So that's what it looks like to me. How gorgeous are these little table toppers? But I'm just not sure for me that Dollar Tree got the color combination right. This bronzy wreath, I just think it's really hard to fit with a lot of different types of decor, or at least the color ranges that I tend to see for Christmas. I wanted to show you that I've never seen this style ornament before, and Look how big it is. I mean, that's amazing. A lot of glitter fallout though. Then I found this one. I can't remember for the life of me if this was out last year or not, but I think the little elf feet are so adorable. I'm not gonna put this on my tree. That's why I only bought one, but I like it as a little charm. And last year I did a Dollar Tree DIY on my channel where I made charms for my lamps. So you have to go check that out. And I just kind of envision using this as a charm for something, a lamp or something, I don't know. So I'll link that down below. My Christmas playlist is down below too. Get caught up and go see what I've been up to. They're ornaments, but, but I bought a ton of these snowmen because they're red and white. And my daughter has a peppermint theme and I thought these would look gorgeous in her tree. They're a dollar. 
from Dollar Tree. I, why do I keep saying that? I, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But look, he even has little earmuffs. You look at his hands. They're like actual wood sticks. And he has a little peppermint scarf. These are also um, ornaments that have come back. They've been at Dollar Tree for a couple of years now. But when I looked at them again, I was like, I need to get more of these. They're really, really great quality. And they're on a little sled. That's what they're attempting to do. But this is a dollar. That's just shocking to me. Um, You can see the glue bits right here. A little bit of sloppy work. But you know what? I'm thinking of adding a bell, which Dollar Tree sells, and covering that up and giving it a little bell sound. And then here is Santa. Like, how nice does Santa look? It's a little odd that they trimmed his beard in this yellow, but they're probably just trying to give it some depth. They did the same thing with the snowman. All right, we're getting down to some new ornaments. I don't think you're ready. So Dollar Tree put out what is looking like to be a barn door. At least that's what I think they attempted to do. And they did a really great job. Like you can see the snow detail that they tried to put there. And there is a little pop up and then the knob is a rhinestone. I think that's where they went wrong. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree, you went wrong there. A rhinestone is not, no. Um, it just conflicts with the plaid. It just, it's not as rustic of an of, um, element, I guess. The wreaths are looking a little sad and not as full as they should be, but if they improve this next year, I'm going to be really, really impressed. But okay. All right, and this ornament is actually not new. They have had this sled, this gorgeous tin sled with the pine cone and the bow, but I feel like they improved it this year. Something about the bow looks a lot better, a lot thicker. Um, I, I'd have to go see the ones that I, that I already own, but I feel like it's just better quality this year. They put out the campers. Are you kidding me? Look, it hasn't even lit the toe hitch. A little sloppy paintwork. Someone got a little tired. They were ready to check out for the day. But overall, look at this. I got doubles. The only problem is the campers are silver. And I don't have silver in my collection. I have gold in my in my color scheme for Christmas. But I, I had to get doubles because I thought that I could still use them as little bits and baubles of decor throughout the house and not so much on my tree. I'm exhausted. Every time I feel like it's always a shocking haul, but I feel like it's shocking and it's super exciting. I love everything that Dollar Tree's been putting out. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned because you know what's coming up? My annual Halloween candy haul. <laughs>